Still wondering the holes? I couldn't sleep. You didn't by any chance slip something other than honey into my tea, did you? Ah, uh, so my plan is working. <laughs> that crack infused honey works like a charm. Every time. Matt warned me to be careful around you. The guy who was here earlier. Yeah, he's afraid that you're not as stable as you appear. Hmm. And what do you think? A killer to me, but I have been wrong before. Got a lot of experience with psycho killers, do you? More than I care to admit. But I don't think they put the mass murderers in the same way as all the other patients, so I'm gonna take a chance that you're not dangerous. As a matter of fact... What? Well, I know this is gonna sound funny, but I just feel like we've met before. Oh, really? When? I don't know. I can't put my finger on it, but something about you seems awfully familiar. I don't know, maybe in a past life or something. You believe in reincarnation? I would like to. And then I would know that my baby could come back and live the life he never had the chance to live. I would love to see what you're working on. Oh, I'm... <clears throat> Sorry, that's incredibly rude of me. I should remember that, and, and it's an artist's decision when to unveil his painting, right? I know that I, I didn't like to show my work to anybody before it was completely done. It's okay. I suppose I'll let it slide just this once. <laughs> but I wouldn't tempt fate again if I were you. Okay. And since we haven't met in this life, I am. Um, should probably introduce myself. I'm Ewan. I'm Elizabeth. Now I'm Matt. Hi. Hi. Hey. Ewan, it was nice to officially meet you. Have a good night. Are you sure that you should be spending time with this random and, and potentially dangerous patient here? Okay, wait. First of all, I'm a patient here too, so I guess that makes me just as potentially dangerous as you win. You win. You would Matt, be Scottish. What are you somewhere. doing here? Checked yourself out of the hospital so quickly you left this behind. <sighs> Thank you. I thought you'd want it. I wondered what happened to this. It's very thoughtful of you. It's awfully late. You could have dropped this off tomorrow. Yeah, no, no, it's no problem. I was, uh, I was actually in the neighborhood, so it wasn't a big deal. I wasn't expecting you to be asleep, so I was just going to drop it off and go. But, uh, you know, you're awake, so there you go. You have your kids back. It's good. It's good. What's really going on? Uh, um, just killed someone. That's all. You killed someone, but it was self-defense, right? You think, you, you think I'm talking about Lisa? That's not oh, who you're talking about? No, 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 I, I, no. They solved that murder mystery. Yeah, it turns out the first officer was having an affair with the captain, so when she found out that Lisa killed him, she pretty much lost it. And, yeah, she left us all on a suicide note. And I found out about it when they brought her into the hospital. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm glad it wasn't anyone we know who killed her. Wait, 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 but what, what were you just talking about? So, I got a call in the middle of the night from a uh, VIP patient. His doctors had read my research, and they were at the end of their ropes to treat an otherwise inoperable brain tumor. They wanted to try out my methodology. It was this golden opportunity to show that the treatment works, but uh, it didn't. Wow. Well, I... It sounds like the patient was just too far gone. It doesn't mean that your research is wrong or that it won't work on another case. Yeah. Yeah. You're the first person that I've told about this too, so. And I'm sorry because obviously you have enough on your plate right now, so. It's fine. Obviously you needed someone to talk to and I'm glad I could be here. Yeah. Uh, other than Maxie, right? Because we both know how that goes. 
This is groundbreaking work. You should expect a few bumps in the road. Yeah, well, maybe it's a theory and nothing more, you know? Works great on paper, not in the real world. I, I think you're too hard on yourself. All these years of living in Patrick's shadow, comparing and competing, you've lost your perspective. Well, Patrick has a better track record than me, and that's not perspective, that's reality. Uh, okay, the fact that a political VIP called you for help is quite an accomplishment. It doesn't make you a miracle worker, though. No one is blaming you for his death, right? So why are you? Why are you checked in here again? I think you should be working here as, as, a, as a shrink okay. and not the other way around. And, and speaking of, have they assigned anyone to no, you yet? No, no, but there's no rush. There's no, what, what are you, what are you talking about? There's no rush, what, are you comfortable here? Are you no, enjoying yourself? I, I'm just appreciating being able to rest and I need to process what's happened between me and Lucky. Well, I, I do know that the rejection hit you really hard. But honestly, I think that the time and the distance that you have from him is a good thing because you'll realize that you're better off without him. And just for the record, you sound a lot more sane than I feel <laughs> right now. Well, I guess I better work a little harder to be convincing. So I compliment your sanity and your first responses. You need to try harder. Is this some sort of act for Lucky's benefit, or what? What if it is? 